Good morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, overnight prices just a little bit better. Uh, I think the last few days we've seen some concentrated selling in the new year, uh, in especially the corn and wheat market. The um, markets in general, I think in the wheat, was responding to some negative outside influences with the lower energy and uh, the higher dollar. And now I think the wheat market, uh, from a cash standpoint, um, soft wheat's a little bit more competitive with Europe, while uh, hard wheat is still more expensive, and both are still higher than the Russian prices. Um, uh, Teeth wheat futures continue to slide lower as Russian wheat prices continue to trade lower. I think one key that the market is looking for is that uh, Russia is on holiday, and when they come back, will the farmer sell uh, the record crop and it continue to offer resistance to wheat. From a weather standpoint, um, Southern Plains remains dry. Uh, we're trying to slowly evolve away from La Nina, which down the road could help uh, the winter wheat areas, um, but the driest, dryness could remain in the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle, and Southwest Kansas. The uh, corn market, again, uh, concerned about lower demand, uh, especially on the export side, uh, also lower ethanol demand, um, and we'll, versus the fact that supplies are still tight domestically, the farmer's not selling a lot, and uh, there is hope for increase in export demand with um, U.S. prices now competitive versus uh, Brazil. Ukraine prices are still much lower uh, than U.S., and so the, the concern is that they will continue to offer uh, corn cheaper than U.S., and with demand down uh, for exports in U.S., uh, they offer some resistance at current price levels. Um, we are watching closely to see if China comes in and buys corn. Uh, some people feel that their commitment right now globally is about 8 million tons, and the ranges of imports again, uh, ranges from 17 to as high as uh, 25 million tons. Uh, I think most uh, commercials are in the 20 million ton area. Uh, so we'll see if they come in and, and uh, start buying uh, anytime uh, soon. The soybean market, again, dry in Argentina, southern Brazil. Uh, it is interesting that the 8 to 15 day maps show some rain in Argentina, which is needed, but we're still concerned about China demand. The next big uh, input to the marketplace is the January 12th USDA report. We're expecting the USDA to show a little bit higher corn and soybean 22 crops, and we're also expecting them to lower uh, U.S. corn demand, especially export and possibly soybean demand, not expecting a lot of changes in U.S. or global wheat numbers. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day, and remember, Always trade people like you yourself would like to be treated. treated.